Hey folks, in this video, I will give you a quick overview of Directus, which is an open source Hedgeist CMS. Now, the first thing we have to do is set this up locally. And for that, the most easy way is to use Docker. So for that, I have already copied some code and I will execute that here. So basically what's happening here is it will run the Directus image, but with some arguments that are the port, which is 8055 and two environment variables key and secret and keep in mind that these are required you can either get it from here and for that i will pause the video for three seconds or you can also get it from director's documentation so with that let's execute this and keep in mind that if in case you do not have the director's image locally it will pull that image from docker now with that being said we have started the server and we have this here at the local host 8055. Let's open this in the Chrome. And what we see here is a director's application. Now for the sign in, we have the credentials here. If we go back to the director's or uh, the terminal and scroll up, we can see here no admin email provided. So the default is admin at example.com. So let's type that here admin at example.com. And then for the password, we also have that here. And that is this random password. So I will copy this and then paste this here. And let's see what do we have it here. All right, we are done with the first step that is setting it up locally. And now let's talk about how to create a correction. So for that, we can click on this button, create correction, and then type here something. So let's say we have a personal website where we have blog. So for that, we can create a correction, maybe blog or articles. So I will name this as blogs and then click on this button. And then I can have these options. So um, I can either click on date created so that will give me a time field and then same goes for the updated and then I can also check who updated or created that and then click on next. So with that, we have the correction here. Now, the next thing is we have to add a field. So click on the field and then we have multiple options here, but let's go with the most simple one that is input. So obviously for our blog, we need a title. So for that, let's go with the key title and this should be string and then default value should be null, but we do want it to have a value. So for that, I will check this box, which says require value to be set on creation. And with that being said, let's save this and we have the title. And with that, let's create another field. And this should be maybe um, an image and thumbnail. So this should not be required because maybe there are some blogs for which we do not have a thumbnail or an image. So with that, uh, let's save this. And now we have these two titles. So with that, let's go ahead to the rows and permission. And now we have an option. So we have two permissions at the moment are two rows. One is the administrator, which is the highest one. And then another one is the public. So if I click on public, you can see for the blogs, um, everything is not allowed. So that means that create, read, update, delete, and share. All of these five are not allowed. Now what we can do is, uh, since this will be a blog and we want the public to be able to view this so we can click on this icon right below the read and click on all access and then the same goes for the share because we also want them to be able to share this so with that it saves automatically and then let's go back to our content and now let's create some content here so we have the blog but there is nothing here so let's click on create and then title my first blog maybe uh, and then we can add an image but for now let's skip this because we set this optional and we have the my first blog and then let's also create another one how to set up directors locally and then also create this one so now we have these two and both of these have no thumbnail so with that being said let's see how can we access the data as a public user so for that we have to copy the link and then items and then blogs. So if I click on this, um, you can see all of this data here. So side tip, if you open this in Mozilla Firefox, it will give you a much better view. And you can also try this on Postman or any other similar application. So that was a quick overview of directors. Feel free to visit directors documentation for more information and also follow directors social media for announcements and future updates.